All right, welcome. This is going to be the CRTP review. Now, I just finished it up earlier um, earlier today, wrote my report and everything, and just sent it off. So I do not know if I have passed or failed yet. I have no idea. Um, but I just kind of want to walk through the course and everything, show you guys what it's all about. So first off, CRTP is by Pentester Academy. We all know that Pentester Academy and INE have come together. All right, um, how you feel about that? How you feel about that? That's whatever. Uh, but the Pentester Academy Tech and Defending Active Directory course or the Certified Red Team Professional course, I thought was absolutely amazing. Um, first off, you can see a lot of stuff that I've learned in the course on the YouTube videos. Um, everything that I do within PowerShell, some of that, I've learned within this course. Uh, the course is absolutely amazing. All right, you get a network. Um, as you can see, you can either generate credentials to have VPN access or web credentials, right? But you get a network and you also have flags that you can go through and try to grab those flags. Um, as you see, I did not get all the flags. As you see, I, I did not. All right. Um, you can follow the walkthroughs, everything that. Some of them were just confusing. Like this guy, like right here, I type it in and it just wouldn't verify some of that. So, or script used for how hunting admin privileges using PowerShell remoting. Pretty sure it's invoke user hunter. Or find local admin access, but yeah, but I have no idea. Or invoke user hunter, or invoke user hunter slash check access, some of that. We can try that, but some of them I just have no idea what they're really asking me for. But the flags do not, you know, it's just kind of a way just to say that, yeah, I did it, you know, like you get some NTLM, stuff like that. Um, flags that's kind of a way to say yeah I, I accomplished that part of it but you don't have to get them obviously to be able to go through and do this whole thing all right um, so there is a flag verification portion of it the course videos you can download every single one of these videos in here okay which I thought was absolutely amazing so if you trouble play videos click here and you can download every single one of the videos which is awesome the walkthrough videos walk you through all the different flags and everything, which I still did not get. <laughs> but if you guys ever watch uh, Conda, C-O-N-D-A, he does a lot of uh, active directory stuff also. He was also uh, talking about the flags too. I didn't really mind it. I didn't really care. I, I went through, went through the lab and everything. Um, I, I like to watch walkthroughs in case I do it differently than what someone else does it and stuff like that. Uh, the lab manual, you can also download this. So all this, the course videos, the walkthrough videos, the lab manual, you can download all these different things. All right, and bring it back to your local machine, have it forever, right? Tools, you can download all of their tools also. All right, which is freaking awesome. Um, you can download every single tool in here. You get your tools.zip. And you guys have seen me use Rubius. You guys have seen me use the AMS by bypass, stuff like that. Uh, PowerShell TCP PS1. But yeah, you can download all these tools, bring them back to yourself. That's why I always go into that directory because that's right where all the tools are at that I use for, um, you know, just the CTFs, things like that that we're doing, that I like to do on this channel. Now, the test, all right. Literally the first box, and if you talk to people and stuff like that that have taken this, the first box is the hardest to get through. So for the test, you get credentials. It's like you are already you are already hacked the network, um, but really what it is is just an internal penetration test, right? So you already have credentials and you start off as a lower privilege user, all right? Escalate your privileges, easy day, awesome. And then from there, you got to start moving throughout their network and being able to get, you don't get flagged or anything like that. You just have to have some type of command execution on that machine. Now I have read, I have read, I don't know how true this is, that some people have only been able to get through three to four machines and have still received the Certified Red Team Professional um, Certificate due to how well their report was written. They do a lot, They do put a lot into how well your report is written, okay? And they want to see your attacks as they go. Okay, like, you know, you can't just... Uh, um, my, my report was 37 pages long and looking at other people, some of that, talking to other people and everything, I guess that's a pretty long report. Like right there. Um, everything that is in the manual 
uh, that you do within the course videos and the walkthrough videos, some of that will be on the test. Every single thing in here is testable. Now, when I say that, you know how in college, you know, the professor stand up there, he says, hey, every single thing I say will be on a test. Yes. Okay. You have to listen to what he is saying and understand what is happening. All right. So that is one of the big things. But again, the videos are only about 15 minutes long. Those are longer ones are 15 minutes. So you can kind of, if you look at the learning objectives, you know, and you're like, Ooh, I forgot how to do this part. You know, maybe you forgot how to, let me see here. Uh, if we go to flag verification, cause when I was forgetting some stuff, I was like, Ooh, I forgot this part like right here. Maybe you were forgetting how to, you know, get into the SQL server or something like that. And then you go to learning objective 22. All right, cool. Let me go to course videos and let me go down to learning objective 22. And, you know, figure out what, um, right where I am with that. Okay. So that was one of the things that, you know, that you had the stuff for life as long as you download it and everything like that. So that was one of the things that you continue to go back to it and everything else. Lab manual, continue to go back to, you know, some of that throughout the test and everything. Um, I enjoyed the test. I actually liked it a lot. You don't use Kali Linux in this course at all. It is all Windows PowerShell. So pretty much like when I went through and I did attack a directory with PowerShell or when I did um, Alfred with just PowerShell, same as that concept, right? I just downloaded a VPN on my local machine from there. I then, and also the VPN that you download, that is something that you actually need to look at. Let me go ahead and open mine up like real quick. I know you guys are just seeing NASQ like right now because I have all this stuff on the, up on the computer like right now. But I'm going to try to find my VPN that I did download just so you guys can get the proper VPN because that is something that you do need to understand is what version VPN because you will, they do give you 24 hours for the exam. It's actually 25. One of the hours is to connect to the VPN network. All right. So I'm just going to try to just open this guy up like real quick and see what the actual... So I have VPN, let me see here. Let me go to, I guess, details. 2.4.60. So I have OpenVPN 2.4.60 running on my Windows machine. Whenever I go to connect to a VPN, 2.4.60. When I very first got in, I had the wrong VPN and it kept bringing back an error. Um, I then copy and paste that error and sure enough, it was the wrong version. Okay, it was two... I think it was too high of a version they actually had, which is kind of strange. But yeah, it was too high of a version, I feel like. So I have 2.4.60. Before you even start the exam, make sure you understand within Windows how to log in through your VPN. I use PowerShell. I hop into the VPN through that, and I've never had a problem with it. Uh, with a command prompt, and I run it as an administrator. All right, that's one thing also. You have to run the VPN as an administrator. Just like you do within Kali where you have to do sudo and then the uh, VPN file, right? So save that concept there, but make sure you're running. I got 2.4.60 open VPN. Let me see here. If I actually open this up, do you guys actually see this new tab and everything? So I can actually show you. Yep. So open VPN 2.4.60. And you can community download. See, I downloaded it. Okay. But I did download 2.4.60, wherever the hell I got that from. I don't know if 2.4.6 is also going to work. So it looks like we got 2.4.6 everywhere. I'm not seeing 2.4.60. So I guess something like that, 2.4.6. All right, download that guy. Make sure you can actually run, you know, you get 25 hours because you get one hour to connect to the VPN. So you have an hour to be able to search for a quick, it's real quick. I just copy and pasted the um, error I was getting and it immediately popped up that, hey, you're running the wrong VPN version. Okay. Uh, try this version. All right, cool. Or someone says like, yeah, I, I did this version and got it. But I really did enjoy the exam. There are five machines that is not including yourself. Okay, so your student VM that you do have to start to increase privileges on. You do have to figure out how to get out of it and everything. Um, that machine like right there um, does not count toward the five machines. So there's, I, I look at it as there's actually six machines in total. Yes, you do have low privilege user access on one of them, 
But from there, um, you know, you do have to start to increase your privileges and everything like that. All right. As I said, a lot of people get freaked out with Pentester Academy because they do a lot of web-based stuff. All right. Kind of like how INE is now. They do have for the attack and defending Active Directory Lab. They do have VPI credentials also. So, and just so you know, with the VPI credentials for the lab, yes, I was running the different VPN at that time. As soon as I got to test, the VPN did not work. 2.4.6. All right, just so you guys, instead of having 24 hours, you guys now have 25 hours. Um, also, like I said, I take print screens of pretty much everything as I walk through it. And I also like to copy and paste the command uh, because I've always been told that the penetration test report should be a, uh, you should just be able to give it to anybody with very limited technical skill, they should be able to get through it. So I was looking at it as, okay, if I give it to my eight-year-old, can she get through this whole thing? That's how I always look at it. So I want to make sure that every single thing that I did is listed, which usually creates longer reports. Because I think my um, ECPBT report was around like 70 or 80 pages? Boy, boy, about 40. I might be way off there. Boy, boy, about 40 pages. I can actually open it up because you guys can't see it, I don't think. So if you can, then I can't put this video online. <laughs> but um yeah let me go ahead and i'll look at what my ecpbt report was so if you ever done that one then you'll know that hey i make much longer reports than um what is usually necessary that's my certificate maybe i won't show you my um yeah i can never mind yeah mine was 63 pages for ecpbt so if that gives you an idea on how much crap I put in there, now you know. Um, that was actually my EWPT, excuse me. That was my EWPT was that one. ECPPT was 63 pages. ECPPT was 42 pages. 45, excuse me, 45 pages. So that just shows you how much stuff I actually throw in there and everything like that. Um, and then my CRTP was a total of... 35 pages so that is going to about be about it if you guys have any questions leave in the comments or join the discord and you know ask questions stuff like that more than happy to answer them i'll let you guys know if i pass or failed uh, i wanted to get this video out though before i got the results back because i don't want to be like you know oh you failed and they're like oh don't use the pen test academy nope amazing training um i think it's still only 250 dollars like right now um crtp certification i believe it is still only 250 dollars also which is even more amazing with the train that you get and everything it's it's well well worth it i feel like and everyone that i've talked to has felt like it's well worth it um let's try to look like it right now it is not 599 dollars so don't worry about that Finding the site, that's a whole different part of it. Let's go ahead and just hop over to Pen Tester Academy. Pen Tester Academy. Now, as you can also see, just looking at this, like right here, that, so, that's the description. But you can also see from just trying to find it, that is not a very well-known course or certification. Take that how you want. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I think that more companies should be out there looking for, you know, stuff like this. But, um, yeah, I thought it was absolutely amazing. I really did. So that's for annual subscription. Man, this is hard. It was $250 whenever I bought it. And I believe it is still $250 right now. Attacking Defending Active Directory Lab Objectives. Boom, boom. Purchase options, $250. So it's still $250 right now uh, for 30 days. I feel like that's all you're going to need is 30 days of lab access. Um, I did not know anything about PowerShell coming into this course. And now I feel like I feel like I know a lot about it. Um, I feel like I can do a lot of different things. I know I feel like I know where to at least look up the information uh, if I need to find it, stuff like that. And, you know read PowerShell scripts and have an understanding of what's happening with them. And um, yeah, that's going to be about it though for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it brought some insight into Certified Red Team Professional. 
And if it's something that you guys really want to look into, let me know. Uh, let me know, um, you know, if um, if you passed cert, let me know, things like that, and how you felt about it and everything. But um, join the Discord, let us know, and things like that. And if you have any uh, questions or anything like that, just ask away. All right, you guys.